<laughs> hello, lurkers. And hello, all you archaeologists. I'm the Johnstruct, and I'm having Somnium Files Adventure. An AI Somnium Files Adventure. Think of Iron. Uh, this does not have batteries in. It's going to make it very difficult to control the game. So I'm going. Uh, what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some batteries in. Uh, wonderful stuff. Fan fantastic. How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> How are you feeling? How was your day? Um, I'm, I'm live, but there's nobody here right now. Um, there's a lot of wispy woo right there. Let's load our game. I'm, oh, hang on. Uh, I've just noticed there's a random number there. It should only be here. So, yes. But tell me. I think I know what happened 18 years ago. So, uh, I guess that was a recap. I, I normally try and remember what happened during the recap, but it's really obvious that we just went in and synced with Hitomi and we, uh, we, 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 we saw what happened 18 years ago. Where, what, where have I possibly got that idea from? You three were close. You, Monica, and Renju. Monica was murdered. You and Renju found the body in the mountains. And you brought it back to the cold storage warehouse. My guess is so Sejima killed Monica. I've seen inside his head before, using this machine. I see. If you know that much, then there's no point in hiding it anymore. I'll tell you the truth. Cool. Alright, what happens if I take this wire out now? Do I still have control? Control. No. Alright, I've got a little wireless thing around here somewhere. I don't know why it's not working today. Hmm. We'll just keep it plugged in because I've faffed enough. It's the song! The song's playing! 18 years ago. It's Bobby. Wait, you're going to see So? Yes. I want to talk to him in person. No, you can't. Why not? Are you worried about my body? You don't have to worry about that. I'm totally fine. But your stomach is still... Oh, my doctor told me that's normal. Your stomach doesn't go down right away after giving birth. I'm not worried about your body. Ooh, this is a new bit of the song. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. So doesn't care about you. And especially not your child. I haven't told him about giving birth. He contacted me for the first time in a while. So that's why. There's a line that only turns up in anime games. So that's why. He wants to know about the baby. This song's great. He must be panicking. I love that they're dressed up as hipsters. As like, um... Beep, uh, what are they called? Boop, ba, beep, ba, boop! Um, not hipsters. What am I talking about? Um... Uh... We've tried everything. We're all out of ideas. Like Flanders' parents. Um, beatniks. If anyone ever finds out his mistress had his baby, his political career would be over. Uh, the 80s. It's not like it was an affair. His wife passed away after giving birth to his son, right? Yeah, it doesn't seem like that's even a big deal. But, like, again, different times. It would still be a big scandal. He impregnated a girl who just graduated high school. 
Don't you see how that looks? That's pretty bad, yes. Also, I hate that you would use the word impregnated. That's a real weirdly clinical, Renju. He knew how the public would take it. That's why he gave you the money to deal with it. There's no way he'll accept that child. It's okay. I told him that I won't cause any trouble. But could you take care of the baby? Just for a little bit? I'll be right back. Fine. But take this with you, just in case. Passes over the baby. It's a GPS transmitter. Yeah, hang on. It's not the 80s, is it? We're in the future right now. Just to be extra safe. I guess Japan's a bit more conservative. I mean, I'd, I say conservative as if... Uh, as if current conservative people are for, like... aren't massively hypocritical. I really don't think I'll need it. But okay, if it'll make you feel better. I'm not just talking about Trump either. Um, in the UK, we've got Boris Johnson, who's a right-wing leader, uh, who, like, doesn't know where all his children are. Because he's just... Yeah. Uh, like, the idea of, 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 like, the leader of your country uh, to, having to lead a sort of ideal uh, family life is uh, incredibly old-fashioned. I don't know what Monica saw in So. She said he was kind and loyal, that he wanted to change Japan, but I didn't understand any of it. He tried to convince her to break up with him so many times. She never listened, and it ended in tragedy. What happened next, you already know. Neither Rendru or I saw it happen, so I don't know how much of this is accurate. But we could guess what happened. So he's not changed in 18 years. I mean, that's so, so not killing her. Look, is this a sink machine? And a door to the control room. Pass the doors out to another door that will take you to the sixth basement floor of the government building. The sink gear. The subject's chair. The person sitting here is the subject of the sinking. I'm going to read it every time because the game puts it in here. It might break tone, um, pacing even, but the game put it in here. I'm going to read them. It's Omi. Who told you this? Renju told me. But you said he wasn't there. He heard some of this from the Kumakuras. Renju had connections with them. How did the Kumakuras know? So told them. What did So say to Manika? He told her to move overseas. He said he'd pay for everything. What happened uh, about Manika's killer? Date, you said that Manika was killed by So, right? But that's not true. Manika was killed by Saito Sejima. Ok, 
Okay, well, this would be a great time to learn about aerial yoga. Um, okay, I think we actually read these gluten-free. We're just, we're just going to remove them from the list. I obviously just didn't save looking at them. Uh, the album. Yeah. Okay, what I'm... Who's Saito Sejima? He's not on our list. The son of So and his late wife. Oh. Oh. No, it can't Saito be the... was 12 at the time. Okay, we can't seek... Hmm. Let's count out the... Uh... <laughs> okay. That would make him the correct age. 12 plus 18. Hmm. Okay, so either Kaname Date is Saito Sejima, or the game wants us to think that. And I'm, I'm going to give the game the benefit of the doubt and say the game wants to convince us of this. I don't know, it just seems like it's really obvious that it's him. So it can't be him. It's too obviously him, right? It's got to be another layer to it. Like, he doesn't remember before his eye got changed. And, uh, you know, it's, it's so convenient. Hang on. Uh, pelvises. Um. Hmm. Vintage magazines, soft boiled eggs, punk kids, ghosts. Oh no, those, yeah. Don't need to occur. Uh, where, where's. So. I mean. You could have given him like darker hair at the top or something. Hmm. I mean, they're anime characters. They all look alike. It's not going to be conclusive. Right. So. Yeah. Either the game wants me to think the main character is secretly so Sejima's Sejima's son. Or he is. Is, is. I'm allowed to do that as a guess? Twelve. That's exactly how old I would have been at the time. Yes. But why would a little boy do that? I don't know. I can't imagine. Because he was the Cyclops killer? Is... What happened after Manica's murder? So contacted his friend, the chairman of the Kumakuras. He asked him to dispose of the body and left the scene with Saito. I mean, this game has a sequel as well, but... The incident was 18 years ago. That means the chairman was Rohan, not Moma. Yes, yeah, I know that. They've been convenient. Like, I, I, I understand the need for Rohan there. Rohan went to the scene of the crime? Yeah, because Rohan... Rohan was the original Cyclops killer according to the plot so far. But there's also Agent 89 who was working for them who had to track, who was involved. Yes, with some of his men. Listen to the rest of the story. Again, neither Renju or I saw this. We were just waiting at my house for Monica to return. But she never came back. We tried to call her Cell, but it didn't connect. Well, like Cell! And she's like, that's not my name. I'm also, my, I'm dead. But then, we saw movement on the GPS. The GPS Renju gave to Monica? Yes. At first, we thought she was on her way home. But we saw the GPS getting further and further away from the city. Renju and I got nervous, and we decided to follow it. 
What about the baby? We couldn't take the baby with us, so... Ranju gave the baby to the mob doctor he trusted. Do we know who the mob doctor is? Is the mob doctor a character? Those are Kumakura men. We didn't dare move. We couldn't speak. We were barely breathing. I knew what the hole was for, but I couldn't move. Couldn't do anything. I remember my heart beating so fast before long. We good here? Yeah. Cover her. Just a minute. Yeah, because he likes collect he doesn't murder people, he just likes collecting the eyes. Beautiful. <gasps> the Kumakura people covered Monica's body, then left. Right. Uh, I just want to check something. I want to know if anyone else is 30. Yeah, you're too old. Really? You're 37? You're 24? I thought you were young. Okay, you're... Yeah, and you're, you're apparently in your 40s. 36, 36, 48, 43, early 40s. It's really interesting that this random nurse has been introduced. You'd, uh, you'd be too young as well though, wouldn't you? Everyone's conveniently out the range of 30. You especially. Oh, you're all 30! It's you! I fucking knew it was you! I didn't even notice it. I'm, I'm doubling down. This guy. I think it's he's the right age. The game's gonna try and convince me it's Date, and it's not Date, it's this guy. One of his skills is pretending to be dead. What was his name? Uh, Sejima. Well, there's no S. I think it might have been an anagram. But he's the right age. Renju and I ran over and dug up the grave with a tree branch. What we saw. Monica! Monica! We need to... We need to call the police. No, we should store her in a freezer for 18 years. No, we can't. Not yet. Why not? You don't know who those guys are. They would do anything to keep this hidden. I've seen it happen myself. I know what they're capable of. Anyway, think about it. Why would they do this? They thought Monica and her baby were going to be trouble. Monica's stomach was still pretty big. I don't think they know that she gave birth already. What do you think they'd do if they found out? They would take her and kill her too. Why would the baby be an issue at this point? And then, they'd come for us. They'd make it look I guess, like we disappeared. I guess DNA. All of us would be gone.
Renju convinced me. He knew more about the dirty underbelly of society than anyone. He knew when something couldn't be handled by the police. He said that they would do anything to kill the child. And I believed him. We had to protect Monica's baby. We had to. No matter what. Why did you shove her in a freezer? Okay. I understand. I decided to trust him. We couldn't leave Monica's body in the forest. Also, even if So didn't murder Monica, he's still evil. Like, he's still definitely evil in a different timeline. He cleaned her up and took her to the cold storage warehouse. This warehouse is owned by Okiura Fishery. My father runs it. But it's not in use right now. They're moving operations to a better area. They're actually looking for buyers right now. But don't worry. I'll take over the warehouse. Are you sure? Yes. Don't worry. I'll keep everyone out. Everyone but you, of course. I'll give you a key. You can come visit any time you want to see Monica. Monica, don't worry about the baby. I'll protect her, no matter what. And don't worry about them, either. The people who did this to you, I will never forgive them. I'm sorry, Monica. Sorry. I'm sorry. Monica. I can do this in the past! Window! You can see the trees in the sky outside. So far! So far, so good! Shelves! A wooden shelf! A speaker system! It's the front door! It's a shoebox! It's this, this contraption thing, it's been around for 20 odd years! A bookshelf! Light is off. Oh, there's a baby. Annika's baby sleeping soundly. She has a sweet scent. The scent that touches the bottom of my heart. Hang on, it was still green. Keep sleeping phase. And coffee table. <gasps> tea? But that's a coffee table. It's seeming that steam is rising from the tea. Okay. It's Renju, 19 years old. What should we name her? I was thinking about her name. How about Iris? Iris? The goddess of rainbows in Greek mythology. And the colored part of your eye. And the flower, too. Right. I thought it might have something to do with your name, Hitomi. <laughs> Not only that. It's also for Monica's name. The kanji for Monica uses the character for love. And Monica reminds me of Monaco, Japanese for I. So both names have something to do with the I. And I, which means love, will always be a part of Iris. That's clever. I didn't consider that AI uh, meant something outside of AI. So that's how you came up with the name? Don't you think it's nice? Iris. Iris. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yes. I was gonna turn this logo back on. How do I do that? 
Yeah, yeah, because the uh, the symbol, the AI, it's in an it's in an iris. Well, it's been pretty obvious for a while, but I thought I'd show it. Yeah, I really like it. And I don't wanna. So I was trying to remember the lyrics to the iris song. Did you get the birth certificate? The mob doctor took care of everything. I have the birth certificate, and I even picked up a mother and baby book. It wasn't cheap, but you don't have to worry about it. Just submit the birth certificate, and everything will be taken care of. You look worried. I feel like... I'm somehow betraying Monica. She was the one who gave birth. Soon, you won't even be able to think about that. Because a war is about to begin. A war? Between you and the baby. You won't get a good night's sleep for a long time. That's not true for all babies, by the way. You might even start to resent Monica for all this. Really? Some some babies just sleep soundly quite well. Look, like, I know it's quite common, but like, some sometimes it's, it's not always true. Anyway, as soon as you submit the certificate, you will officially be her mother. I, I'm... I've got no experience with babies with myself. I've got a friend who's got a child, and according to him, ah, it was just cool. Like, he's had a few sleepless nights, but it wasn't like a nightmare like some people describe it. Be sure to raise her responsibly. I'll help. Occasionally. I mean, according to him, everyone was exaggerating, and I was like, people have different experiences, but like, you know. Occasionally, huh? Right, Manica's killer. I don't really want to discuss this, but there's something you need to know. After talking to the Kumakura gang, I found out who killed Monica. So's son, Saito Sejima. Hmm. How? Saito was only... Twelve years old. Why? Why would a little boy do that? I don't know the motive, but I know it's true. So used his connections with the Kumakuras to cover up for his son. And all of the evidence of this scandal, of course. I'll never forgive them. So, his son, or the Kumakuras. I feel the same way. But you can't think about revenge now. You and the baby can't lead a life like that. <laughs> Just bear with it for now. The opportunity will come. So wait until the right moment. Okay. And so my life with Iris began. Raising a child was much harder than I expected. And that's what a baby sounds like. Waking up in the middle of the night to change diapers or feed her. Iris wasn't a good sleeper. I had to sing her lullabies to put her to sleep. And I always needed to put her to bed so carefully. It would only take ten seconds before she'd start crying again. So I had to pick her up, sing her another lullaby, then put her back to bed. I mean, I'm not saying it wouldn't be terrifying. There's like all sorts of, you know, chemicals and shit going on when childbirth happens. Uh, which, you know, there's all the sorts of bonding stuff. Science things, like... Uh, uh, which is going to make it a lot harder if you're adopting a, a literal little newborn baby. Uh, but still. But still? What do you mean? There isn't a but still. Ignore the but still. I'm just saying. I imagine it's... There is... A, there'll be extra difficulties. I'm not 100% sure about that, though. But I do know, obviously. Natural bond and stuff like that. Also... I mean, I guess babies are quite good at bonding with people, generally. But still. Stop saying, but still, it's sorry, it's just a um, vocal tick, you know, uh, ending sentences with but still, because I just like to uh, add in the element of doubt, because if I don't know a thing, but still. After doing this over and over, before I knew it, the morning sun would creep in through the windows. But even with all of that, I cherished every single day. My hatred for those responsible never went away. But my hands were full, raising Iris. I devoted myself to her. I never thought about anything else. Eventually, 
My desire for revenge just faded away. These are example of child noises. Is mommy proud of me? Mommy, I want to see Milky Moon again. Mommy, you are so good at dancing. Mommy, pancakes are done. Sorry, I burned it a little. The hospital would have to know, right? If Iris has a tumor or whatever, a, a, a medical condition. They would have checked her history. Mommy, why can't I dance at the stores? I can't help it. My body dances on its own. Mommy, don't more people come to barbecues? How come it's always you and me? Hey, Mommy. How long will it take my bone to get better? I want to dance again with everybody. Hey, Mommy! Do you like my shirt? Look, we're matching! Mommy, thank you for everything! I love you more than anything in the whole wide world! Mommy, look! I drew it! <laughs> the Okonomiyaki War, huh? That was so fun! We should do it again! The food or the food fight? Um, both! I'm gonna have to say no to the latter, sweetie. It took forever to clean. But Uncle said he wants to do it again, too. Hey, Mommy. Yes? Are you gonna marry him? What? What are you talking about? As long as it's Uncle, I'm all for it! I say go for it! I would always question myself. Could I keep living a lie? And she's got Bast as a pin. I had promised Monica that I would avenge her, but I couldn't work up the courage. And maybe Renju was exaggerating, but there's no statute of limitations for murder in Japan. If we showed Monica's body to the police, so would be punished by the law, and the Sejima's and Kumakura's crimes would be uncovered. But that would mean Iris's secret would be uncovered as well. That's what I was really worried about. I didn't want Iris to know that So was her father. And even more than that, I didn't want her to know that I'm not her real mother. That's the real reason I've been silent for 18 years. You are a real mother. You're just not a biological mother. I didn't want to lose Iris. But... Fate can be cruel. God used other means to take Iris from me. In January, Iris suddenly collapsed. It was caused by a malignant tumor in her brain. It is a tumor. There's nothing we can do. She only has a year to live at most. That's what the doctor said. If you remember me telling you. But what I didn't tell you is that there was an experimental new treatment. It was... Metal Gear. Some of the cutting-edge nanomachines can even go inside your body and cure illnesses. They can even cure cancer. And they go beep, beep, beep. That's what Mom said. See, I told you. I told you they were sneaking in things. Not my first rodeo. Nanomachines. Nanomachines, son. Nanomachines could remove the tumor. But the procedure would be so expensive. I mean, is not the damage already done? With my salary, it wasn't something I could afford. I thought hard about it, about how I could get my hands on that kind of money. But I couldn't think of a solution. Time passed. Before I knew it, it was November. Iris's symptoms worsened. Her time was running out. I was starting to panic. I couldn't sit here and waste time while Iris... In any case, I had to get the money. 
before it was too late. So I thought of a plan. A plan to blackmail Sol Tejima. Two days ago, on Saturday night, I called So and invited him to come to the warehouse. He agreed to come. After I hinted at what happened 18 years ago, I had prepared everything. Hiding behind the forklift until So came. When he finally arrived, he walked over to the workbench where I had laid Monica's body. He lifted the cloth and looked down. <sighs> he whimpered and stumbled back. Even he was phased. Seeing a body he thought he got rid of 18 years ago. Not to mention it was the body of a woman he was in a relationship with. A woman his own son killed. He reacted exactly as I expected he would. I had prepared a recording and sent it to his phone. Okay, I'm so I'm thinking. So Iris has been kidnapped at some point by eighty nine and uh and Renju. So now we know why Renju is the person, like, Ren Renju is essentially a parent to her as well. So they, they presumably have the, her best interests in mind. Don't know why they're doing it in such a shady fashion, but whatever. And I would assume the reason they're kidnapped, trying to kidnap her is they want to put her mind in someone else's body. And they'd want it to be another girl her, around her age. Uh, and maybe even that's what So wanted as well. Maybe So figured out that she was uh, his daughter uh, and that she was going to die. And maybe that is why he kidnapped Mizuki. So he could put Iris's brain in, in Mizuki's body and vice versa and Mizuki would die. Um... There are three people. Well, okay. Saito's got to be one of these three. I like. I still think it's you. Who is conveniently the correct age. There's still something weird going on with Boss, though. Because in the true. In the last timeline. Boss killed So. And also, So is still a monster. You know, for trying to murder Bazuki. Save our game. Even if he found out who I was, without the Kumakura gang, he had no power over me. And there's no way he'd risk his political career not to go after me. I saw So put his phone back into his pocket and run out of the warehouse. came out of my hiding place to put Monica's body back, but then something unexpected happened. Yeah, I know about this bit, obviously. I saw you, Date. I hid behind the forklift before you saw me, and when you were done looking around...
Iris. I was losing consciousnessness. My head felt fuzzy. I couldn't gather my thoughts. I didn't know what to say. Instead, I did the talking. Iris is not Hitomi's daughter. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. But Iris's father is Sosajima. Her mother, Monica Iwai, was killed 18 years ago by So's son, Saito. However, Hitomi raised Iris since she was a baby. Hitomi showed unwavering love and compassion for her, just as much as her biological mother would have, if not more. Iris's tumor was discovered in January of this year. I need to charge the this. The only possible treatment was experimental nanotechnology. Nano machine, son. However, that treatment is restrictively expensive. <laughs> We're getting a recap. Hitomi devised a plan to blackmail Sosajima for the money. The best way to establish the blackmail was to show him proof directly. That is why Hitomi created the scene with the corpse. She was the one who called So to the warehouse. On Sunday night, what Date saw was what Hitomi had prepared for So. That is the summary of what we have learned so far. But there are some things I have yet to understand. Date, pull yourself together. Ask her questions. Date, snap out of it. I heard Iba call for me and came too. There's a synth machine. Why did Rohan remove Monica's eye? I'm sorry. I have no idea. Did you tell Renju about the black ma bla blackmailing? No, I did not. All of this was my idea. Continuing Sunday's events. I probably don't have to ask, but let me just be sure. After I left the warehouse, what did you do? I put Monica's body back onto the hood of the forklift. Then I left. Makes sense. Hang on, but we searched the scene afterwards. That's why the police didn't see the body when they arrived on the scene. What, and they didn't search? It makes perfect sense now that I have the facts. Iris did not resurrect. You simply mistook Monica for Iris. Yeah, I, no, I know that. The body did not disappear. Hitomi moved it. Those were the events at the warehouse Sunday night. Simple. Summarize for me. I just got summarized. Still a few loose ends, but I believe I understand what occurred 18 years ago. However, none of this ties directly back to Shoko Nagami. No, it doesn't. Her murder was just four days ago. Is it connected? Or are these two separate cases? If there is a connection, it would be with Renju and So. Think about it later. More importantly, I headed for the exit. Wait. He's got an angry face. Where are you going? To look for Iris, of course. But you have no idea where she is, right? Do you know something? Yes. <gasps> She knows things. Like this is a sink chair. So and this is a sink chair. Do you know where she is? At around four o'clock today, I received a phone call. I don't know who it was. They were using a voice modulator. What did they say? I have your daughter. Don't call the police or she dies. That's why I didn't tell you earlier. Renju. We don't know that for certain. It 
could be number 89. Either way, Iris is in danger right now. The voice asked for something else. He told me to go to a specified location with you. Okay. Me. Yes. The culprit knows me? It must be Renju. Hmm. What location? I am sorry, but this stops now. Date. Run! Boss! Please, do not worry. I merely put her to sleep. What are you doing? My orders. They told us to halt our investigation. The boss was already going against orders as it is. Which is why... Investigation? What investigation? Shoko or Iris? Neither. The investigation of Monica's murder. Monica? But her case is all but completely solved. Yes, but only to us, right? If we say nothing, then her investigation is ongoing. Judas is too old. Well, there's Monica. Judas is like 36, right? Where is he? Yeah, he's too old. He's just doing this out of... of um... because of his connection to Renju. So Sejima. Or relationship. So threatened us, didn't he? I don't know! I don't know why he's acting all evil about it, though. But you've been stripped of your authority on this investigation. As of five minutes ago. In fact... You are to be placed under house arrest. What will you do, Date? I suggest you comply. Iba, can you turn the power off? Easily. Okay, but he can control Iba. That's been established. All right, get ready. Three, two, one. Now tell me, where is the location? Might want to help out boss as well. I is that coming from you. me? Okay. It's probably the light shining through, sorry about that. Why not? If I told you, you'd go alone, wouldn't you? But if I don't go with you... Alright, take me there. Yeah, Ooh, you can see my green screen. Uh, might have to... Right, sorry, will be a second. I'm just gonna turn the light off behind me. Okay, I think it's better. Where's my controller? Oh, there it is. The abandoned factory. I know this place. It's the chemical plant that closed eight years ago. Hmm. I knew that. How did I know that? Because you knew it from the other timeline. 
corners of my mind were aching. Actually, I don't think that's true. He's 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 an amnesiac, isn't he? So he's he's gonna know certain things. Dante, I'm sorry, but this is going to be bad. What happened? Someone has begun to access my stored memory. They are attempting to wipe all the data, everything I have accumulated over the last five years, including backups. Pewter. Is Pewter doing this? Almost definitely. He does have admin rights. So it's almost as if we could have, should have done slightly more than put him in a cupboard. I summoned some ice, but that will only buy time. I'm just gonna keep that animation up for a little. Date. Four hours. It's fine. There should be plenty of time. I gripped my revolver and got moving. I'll go in first. You wait here. Okay. Got to be so. Is that? Oh, it's Renju. Renju. And there's eighty-nine. But well, we don't know anyone is anyone, because they could have body switched. Case remains on. Ooh. I would like to save. Right. Well, that's convenient timing. Because that means we can start afresh. With the unlock. There we go. Our first ever lock. Finally unlocked. Is it in the shape of an eye? Uh, no, it'd be a pretty weird eye, wouldn't it? Hmm. We're going to need a little recap because it's completely different sides. Uh, okay. Quick little, okay. There was a murder. No. We got reminded how the thing works. Uh, we met the, uh, you know, certain characters, Ota, Hitomi. Then we took a decision uh, into which side we go into. So, um, yeah, so in this universe, Renju was immediately murdered, and then we, why, hang on, why does Iris know about a body? Hmm, interesting. Okay, because this is about 89. 
So Ota. I was gonna say, like, I didn't think this would be the like the ending, because everyone's dead in this one. Uh Ota and um Iris are dead. But then we figured out who 89 was. And then it got weird. In 89 Somnium, Date saw Hitomi getting shot by Rohan. And then Boss. Why was Boss there? Date confirmed Peter, confronted Peter to ask him about Boss's whereabouts. Peter told Date that the corpse of Sosujima was found, his left eye torn out. It must have been the same killer that they were hunting. Date went to the Boss's office to make her explain herself, but now she was nowhere to be found. Instead, what Date and I were found in the Boss's office was a video of her murdering Sosujima. If the video is to believe Boss killed So, and because So had his left eye taken out, Boss must be the new Cyclops killer. I mean, I should have known that all along, then. That was readable from, like, 30 hours ago, wasn't it? Or however long it took me to get there. Sosajima. I mean, he definitely kills him. Why? Why? What's going on here? Why did Boss kill So? It might not have been. We we could. <laughs> anyone can be anyone, because anyone can body swap now. It actually calls into question lots of things. Oh, we figured out Boss's real name as well, didn't we? But there's a bookshelf. It has a ton of things stuffed in it. There's a darts machine. It's an electronic darts game. It's a boy band poster. Snowboard. Polish poster. Map on the wall. Decorated Christmas tree. That's been here since the first time I was in this room. Nope, sorry. It's a plastic figure. Bags hanging on the rack. A cabinet. Uh, Shika. I don't think I pronounced that correctly. It's a large key. Boss's chair. So, but all called, uh, door could, yes. Mask, right? Mysterious mask displayed on the wall. Two mysterious masks. Happy birthday banner decoration. Tanuki statue. Botanicky, police officer marking. Shelves! A tombstone. RIP. Uh, some wine bottles lined up. A flag with big catch on it. Boss's desk. There were stickers all over the front. Skis. She has a computer on her desk. The type that has a monitor built in. Alright, fine. Boss's alibi for Shoko's murder. Shoko was killed around 5 p.m. Friday. What was Boss doing at that time? Unknown. What about Saturday, 8 p.m.? The time Renju was killed? Similarly unknown. Iris and Ota were killed at different times.
I was watching the stream on the call with Boss. Only the first few minutes. The polar bear had not yet appeared on stream. It is possible that she made the call from somewhere off camera. Where was Boss's phone at the time? Check her cell records. She did not call from a mobile phone. She used a PC. Using a VPN service, she could have accessed her Abyss PC from the warehouse and made the call. I don't believe it, Boss. Boss is the new Cyclops killer? Shoko, Renju, Iris, Ota, So. Boss killed them all? The evidence makes that a likely possibility. Hmm. So also had his left eye removed. Identical to Shoko, Renju, and Iris. Dante, I know where the boss is. I have picked up her GPS. <laughs> 